here we are in Glanville Village on our trip to Knocknaska, the highest mountain near Cork. We take the Mallow Road at the top of the village, veering off to the left down Doom Peter Road. After about a mile, there's a little lane to the right which leads to Doom Peter Well. Here's the entrance to it, and the Nagels are on the right hand side. Here we are looking across to the green Nagels, which will be wild on the top. We're now at Larry Roach's Cross, two miles from Glenville. And travelling on the Mallow Road, we come to the Carriganafrin sign where we turn right. This is the entrance to the Mass Rock, a holy place. Past the old Chimney Field School on the left, and then there's three or four miles to the pull in where you put your car and begin your walk. It will take you about 45 minutes at an easy pace to get to the top. The pathway in the beginning is good. The lorries with the wood piles come down here, stony underfoot but solid. But as we get higher, it might narrow and get rougher. So you need strong boots. Look back down the valley at the forest growing and some of the work of the forestry looking down at the Blackwater Valley where the Nagels drain into the Blackwater Valley. Here is the uh, shadow and sunshine as we climb higher and the, paro get, the, the path gets narrower. Pleasant walk. It opens up occasionally on the right and we can see the brown heather here looking across the misty day towards the Galtes. Again another view on a sunnier day, the heather is very dark here. There's two types of heathers, the bell heather and the ling. The bell heather is a deep purple like this is here and the ling is uh, tightly, is less purple and, and tight near the stem. Path is watery here, soon it'll be coming into the open plain where Nocknaska resides. This is the uh, coming on to the opening where the mountain will open up. This is going to the first kern. The road is getting rougher now. Scouts or travellers make these guiding stones. I found frog spawn here. This is getting very near the top of the mountain and the road is rougher. There's the trig point at the top which marks the top. Again we glance off across the table of the mountain at the brown heather now, still misty and cloudy, but very rough and wild. And now we're walking the last part to the very top. You can see how it's narrow and stony. Till finally we see on the hill the trig point with a, a pole coming out of it. It was put up by a local GA supporter with his colours, the team's colours on the top that the wind has blown the flag away with the wind and rain. Here it is, the top of Nocknaska on a summer's day. And here it is among the blooming heather and the trees at the back are chopped down now. And Nocknaska in the middle of winter. I love this photograph. Looking across to the Galti Mountains, across the rough terrain, and then feeling the mood of the mountains. Here is a hen harrier. There are four pairs of hen harriers in the Nagels Mountains. There's only 25, 30 in the whole of Ireland, so it's a rare bird. Looks a bit like an eagle at times. There are four mounds at the top here, we can't see them here, where monster chiefs and monster kings are reputed to have been buried. 
Their supporters brought them up, chanting up the mountain, carrying the, either their ashes or the body. And they're buried here. You can see they're never excavated yet. This is looking to the east on a clear day. You can see the Bogra Mountains sweeping across the Ballyhura Hills and then sweeping further to the right, the Galti Mountains. It's not clear here. They're the Galti Mountains on a clear day. You can knock me down mountains on the right. Here's the heather blown by the wind. The stones put up by hikers. One of the mounds I mentioned. And so we start to descend, going back to the greener plains of the Blackwater Valley and the lower forestry area. Here we can see a holiday home in the middle of it. I've met the people, they come here from the busy city and they love walking here. Down we go, back to Glenville Village, where we might relax and go to Cades County, which is here to have a cup of tea or coffee. It's open most days, even during the day. And so we have visited Knocknaska, Corp's nearest mountain. Here are some notes about the mountain if you wish to visit it. <laughs> 